hello everyone welcome to my channel and please like and subscribe and then if you are interested to apply in five at five one talk um unang una po kailangan meron kayong referrer kasi yung referrer yun yung magaguide sa inyo so search nyo po sa facebook um five one talk referral or 51 talk referrer and then mas magandang hanapin nyo na referrer is yung um, famous or yung marami ka makikita ng positive messages from applicant so it means um, good referrer sila <clears throat> and then once you message the yeah once you message your referrer bibigyan ka ng referral link then dun mo itatype yung um, information mo and then magkakaroon ka ng interview sa interview mo um, this is my son so noisy and then sa interview mo um, kailangan mag-ready ka ng nursery rhyme. So, yung nursery rhyme ko is yung walang katapusang twinkle, twinkle, little star. And then, and then, um, interviewin ka, of course, English, dapat yung sagot mo. And then, um, meron sila ipapaulit na words, like, kasi then, tinanong ako kung okay lang kung magtuturo ako sa adult and kids. And, and I said, it's perfectly fine. So, uh, tinitingnan uh, pinakinggan niya mabuti yung word na perfectly fine. Oh, and um mas uh, maselan sila sa P and F and PH like Philippines, not Philippines and V and B. All right. So, mas maganda uh, may pronounce niyo ng sobrang ayos yung words. And then, pag nakapasa kayo sa interview, um, meron technical check. So, dapat i-check nyo mabuti yung lightning nyo, at saka yung uh, background nyo. Ang gusto nila, um, I think, plain background, or maayos yung likod, yung teaching background nyo, and then yung, tinan yung left and right na teaching area nyo. And then, um, hindi kayo maka proceed to the next step if may problema sa sa he, um, headset and the sa camera and then mas maganda i-check niyo na agad and then next is training so training it's about five one talk um but orientation training about orientation and then next is training ulit ito yung training na Yung, yung coach, tuturuan kayo kung paano nyo uh, ituturo yung slides, uh, per slides. So, kailangan yung maging active. Kailangan yung ipakita sa coach nyo na uh, doon sa trainer na happy teacher kayo and that you are very interested. So, just be happy and jolly and kung alam nyo yung sagot, answer kayo. And then, what's next? And pagkatapos nun, magta-training kayo with Chinese evaluator. Yung Chinese evaluator, magpapretend siya na student. Hello everyone! Ito, kinarga ko na yung anak ko. And then, dun sa, di ba, magde-demo na kayo with the trainer. Um, yung, de yung trainer na ituturo sa inyo kung paano ituro yung lesson nyo slides per slides. So, that time, dapat hindi na plain yung uh, teaching background nyo. Pagagandahin nyo na yung background nyo. Dapat may mga toys na kayo. Meron kayong simple uh, colored paper and then pen, marker, whiteboard. Kailangan nyo yan. And then, dun sa, uh, dun sa trainer nyo, and then, sasabihin, sasabihan kayo na magpa-practice kayo mag-demo with your um, um, other, with other applicants. So, magpa-practice uh, kayo. And then, tas sasabihin uh, ng trainer yung um, about dun sa ginawa nyo uh, 
practice demo. And then, pag ready na kayo, yun, uh, magde-demo kayo with the Chinese evaluator. So, give your best. Dapat okay yung background nyo. Tapos, i-apply nyo yung kung ano yung tutunan nyo dun sa training with your trainer. And then, uh, malalaman po din that time if you are passed or not. So, hopefully, you passed your um, application. And then, um, mabilis lang, siguro um, four days lang yung lahat ng application from interview to training. And then, after that, ikumpasa ka na. And then, you will start to give your doc documents dun sa HR. Dun, uh, your NB NBI and other documents and uh, the audio record. Mm -hmm. And then, don't worry, uh, during your group uh, uh, application process sa Skype, igagayad naman nila kayo. And then, that's it. Um, kung pasa ka na sa evalu evaluation ng Chinese. Um, and then, that's it. Congrats! And then, ano ang gagawin mo if uh, pasa ka na? And then, oh, oh, after you pass the Chinese evaluator, meron na naman training. Uh, malalaman mo kung paano uh, gamitin, how to navigate the Pi One Talk teaching platform. So, ida-download mo yung AC and malalaman mo kung ano yung gamit or how, what are the functions of its pages in the, or what is the function of each um, section sa um, website ng teacher page mo. And then, Pag alam mo na, then that's time you can plot your schedule. And then, ang ginawa ko, and then, ang ginawa ko nun kasi, um, um, wala pa ako idea, right? Kung kaya ba yung 20 mi 25 minutes sa dami ng slides. So, ginawa ko, 25 minutes, um, nagplat ako ng schedule, tapos, after nun, break time ko. And then, nagplat ulit ako ng schedule. So, para kung sakaling uh, mapahaba yung uh, klasiko, it's okay. So, kasi takot ako sa deduction. That's it. Then, nung uh, sanay na ako, doon dun ako nag-plot ng schedule na sunod-sunod. And that's it. And then, um, kailangan din uh, familiar ka sa mga deductions nila. And, yep, may deductions ako. Kasi that time, nung nag-apply ako sa Paiban Talk, um, buntis ako. I think um, I was eight months pregnant that time. So, pag may bigla ang check up, nagkakansal ako ng klase. So, um, may deduction. So, di ko na malala kung magkano yung deductions. Pero marami akong deductions kasi nagkansal ako. And then also, pag nakalimutan mong mag-evaluate sa student, deductions again. Right, deduction. So, pero kung maingat ka, di kasi ako, um, makakalimutin kasi ako, eh. kung makakalimutin ka, good luck. Madami ka din deductions. And what else? Um, Alright. Kung supportive staff sila. Kasi doon sa teaching platform sa AC ng Paiwan Talk, minsan, hindi ako marinig and makita ng student. And I am so confident that um, okay yung signal ko kasi 100 Mbps yung ano ko, internet ko. So, meron silang ibang website, i e, message mo yung technical support. And then, di naman, laha, di naman lagi nag-reply uh, yung technical support. Uh, mag, may queue or maghihintay ka. Kailangan mo ba maghintay? Eh, nangyayari na yung uh, di na marinig at makita ko nung ng student. So, kailangan mong screenshot. Okay? So, pag nangyayari yan, screenshot is screenshot. Yung best friend mo is screenshot. Is screenshot. And then, sabi mo pa rin yung nangyayari. Tapos, is screenshot mo dun and send mo pa din sa technical support. And then, hmm, and then, um, if I want to talk, um, yes, uh, Ang maganda lang dito, wala kang coach. 
na pag mag-absent ka, di mo na kailangan magipag-usap na uh, mag-leave ka, ganyan. Deductions lang. Lang. Hmm. Yun, yun yung mangyayari, deductions. And then, para sa akin, okay to sa mga uh, bago, sa mga teacher applicant na bago sa ESL company. Um, and then, kasi matitrain ka, may training sila, free training. Wala akong free training kasi buntis ako that time, so um, hindi ko kaya mag-training. And then, um, pag marami kang students and then nagkuha ka ng mga training, nagtake ka ng training, tataas yung sweldo mo. 100 pesos yung per hour ko noon. And then, hindi ako nakapag-training. Nag-ilang buwan lang ako doon kasi nag-resign na ako and nanganak na ako. And ngayon, nasa chipa na ako. And that's it guys and um masasabi ko lang ang um, ang cons dito sa Paibon Talk yung staff pag may problema ka sa problema ka din sa teaching platform yeah minsan uh, nakakapag-reply sila and then minsan hindi kasi mahaba pa yung pila para i-response ka para mag-reply sila and then, deductions. Madami silang deductions. So, kung hindi ka maingat, marami kang deductions. So, kailangan maging familiar ka sa deductions nila. And then, then that's it. That's it, guys. And thank you for watching my video. Sana, sana. And wait, wait, wait. May nakalimutan ako sabihin. Doon sa, kung gusto mong... Uh, magkaroon na maraming idea about 5 talk i-search mo dun sa group natin sa ESL uh, teacher Philippines teachers i-search mo 5 talk may makikita kang review dun about 5 talk alright and thank you for watching my video and please like and subscribe and good luck good luck bye everyone